Are the housing bubble fears behind us already? Let's dig in with some hot off the press December stats. Well, I'm not gonna say that we're out of the woods yet, but this recent run in rates has really certainly helped us. If you missed the one hour deep dive with Barry and I, you gotta go back and watch it. It was money. So yes, things are improving. For instance, home buying demand has started ticking up as mortgage rates continue their steady decline. Daily rates dipped to 6.29% on December 1st, down a full percentage point from 7.2%. Don't quote me on that, it's a national average. In other positive news, mortgage purchase applications are up 4% from just a week ago and price drops are becoming less common now that mortgage rates are improved. And just over 6% of homes had a price drop last month, down sharply from 7.2% a week earlier and the lowest level since July. Again, these are all good, but still too early to call it. And Redfin's chief economist agrees with us stating, there have been a handful of pieces of relatively good news for the housing market lately, but we're far from out of the woods. Key indicators of home buying demand will likely be teetering on a nice edge with every data release that comes out related to the Fed's path to eventually bringing rates down. We're likely past peak inflation, past peak mortgage rates, and past the bottom of mortgage purchase applications. But there's further cooling ahead for the housing market as sales and prices have further to fall before buyers and sellers become comfortable with home buying costs again. Now, further proof that things are trending in the right direction, but still not out of the woods is the commentary on housing supply. Months of supply hit 4.1 months in November, up sharply from the prior four week period and the highest level since May of 2020. The supply of homes for sale posted its biggest year over year increase on record, even as new listings declined by double digits, indicating homes lingered on the market over Thanksgiving. Kind of understandable. One stat that I love tracking is home buyer mortgage payments. And we shared this stat when it hit its all time high previously. And now it's showing signs of improving, which is awesome news. So in short, not all good news, but looking really, really good. And this is a great show to share on social because it's stats and data heavy for sure and not just some random guy or gal sharing opinions. And for my mortgage and real estate nerds and geeks, I have a treat for you. This is an interesting article from the Dallas Fed page that answers the question that many people are asking, is a housing crash inevitable? I struggle with that word, so hopefully you understood it. I think we've done a really good job speaking to this lately and not just with opinions, but facts and data. And if you want even more of this, Click on this link in the comment section below. The Fed will answer it for you like only the Fed can. And I'm gonna spoil it for you because it's just too funny. The Fed loves to speak out of both sides of their mouth. And this is a great example of that and how they summarize their article. It looks a little something like this. A severe housing bust from the frothy pandemic run-up isn't a foregone conclusion. Although the situation is challenging, there remains a window of opportunity to deflate the housing bubble while achieving the Fed's preferred outcome of a soft landing. This is more likely to happen if the worst case scenario of a price correction induced economic downturn can be avoided. Now, did you get that? No, either did I. They said a whole lot without backing themselves in the corner it's kind of like political jargon mastery at its best. It's kind of actually really impressive. Anyways, guys, share this on social, share it with your teams, and we'll see you guys next week.